You know what really burgles my curds? Cheese thieves. Hello, I'm Storyteller WMD, and welcome to episode two of Storyteller Plays Stray. Let's go ahead and get up. Come on, little buddy. Unfortunately, between the last episode and this one, even though I let a couple days pass, nobody suggested a name for my cat in the comments, so... That is still up in the air. Can't imagine getting more than, like, three or four episodes out of this, though. Hello! I am a musician, but I don't have any songs. Okay, well, let us alleviate that. In the last episode, I picked up a... Sorry. Uh-oh. My controls are reversed. Also, I got an achievement. In the last episode, I picked up an energy drink. And we also learned that this merchant over here trades for energy drink cans. I don't think I'm going to be able to... Okay, it fell off. Can I pick it back up? No. So we've got a second chance. If I'm very careful about it, I can probably get this basketball into that trash can. Come on. Hell yeah. Oh, there was an achievement for it. Mm, boom chat katala. Good chance are... Boom shakalaka. That's probably what that said. I've got new glasses, so I can read now, but I'm stupid, so... My literacy is somewhat limited. Anyway, let's see if we can't buy this sheet music. Hello, I'm a merchant of the market. Yes, yes, we know. Sheet music. One energy drink can. I've got this. Here you go. Gained new item. Sheet music, four of eight. Oh, good. They're collectibles. And now I'm broke because I just traded off my... Oh, I can translate that. The marketplace. Interesting. That is an appropriate sign for what that is. Anyway, let's go give the sheet music to this mer- uh, not merchant, musician over here. Merchants, musicians, what's next? Mercenaries. Yes, you don't have any songs until now. The way you compute tonight. Oh, that's a nice one. Hear me out. It's got very Rock Lobster vibes, but in a good way. Very good song. I'm going to assume it was written for this game. What's this say, buddy? Access to the sewers is condemned because of the profilation of Zerks. Stay safe. Or stay in the safe zone. Proliferation. Oh, what's this? Take a mysterious safe password. Let me look it up. Safe's password. Show it to be 12. It's written, follows the numbers, but it looks like a binary language is in a succession of ones and zeros. We must be able to decipher this code in one way or another. It's probably related to this safe. Well, if you would show me those ones and zeros, I could probably just plug it into a binary uh, translator. Not to be a pessimist, but I'm going to assume that the musician probably isn't the best with numbers. Hello, you look very smart. Ah, uh, there's nothing up there. Yes, well, can you show me, or tell me about this? It's a very old binary code you have here. Only real geeks can read this. Are you implying you're not a real geek? Hmm. Where can we find a real geek? 
And while we're at it, how can I get up there? Oh, there's so much more to this town I've not explored. Mm. Borderman, Super Spirit Laundry, Grandma Clothing, and Elliot Programming. Oh, which way is Elliot Programming? Guessing that's the bottom sign, so over here. Are you Elliot? No, you're Teddy. You do look a little like a Zerk, far from, uh, from far away at least. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal. They're terrifying. I'm not metal. Although presumably if they can chew through metal, they can chew through me. Can I knock over this bucket? No. Howdy! You're new around here. What can I do for you? Yes, can you translate this binary? Come on. I walked through that robot. You're new around here, what can I do for you? Nothing. I would like to knock some of your stuff over. This game is pretty selective about what you can and cannot push to the ground. Although if you could push everything to the ground, I'm sure it would be a physics nightmare because I would be doing it. Well, this looks pushable. Come on. There we go. How you doing? You want something? Yes. Very old binary code. Yes, how can you tell me about this? Oh, the myth of bl the blue sky. Beautiful concept. Mmm, pessimists, one and all. What is this? Jacob, employee of the month, September XX27. Oh great, this game takes place seven years in the future. Okay, probably not, but... You get how it is. Come on. It's in. What, no trophy? No trophy for that either. I should be rewarded for my stupidity. Ooh. Sheet music. We know who that belongs to. Actually, it probably doesn't belong to the musician, but we're giving it to them. Hello? This is the newspaper from the people living above, on level two. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. That's kind of depressing. Can you read binary code? No? Okay. Some people tried to find the exit in this city. It didn't go well. I'll find the exit, and then I'll come back and share it with y'all. Nobody can say I didn't try. Hello, I'm looking for some programmers. Mm, Elliot Programming, sign points this way. Hello! I see you've got a lucky cat there. Grandma made me these clothes. I'm pretty stylish, no? That looks like a blanket. I'm not saying it isn't stylish, I'm just saying. Hardly clothes. You want something? Yes. Are we one of those outsiders like Momo? Well, good luck with that. Thanks. I probably need it. Grandma clothing. I had a feeling. Hi. I do love knitting. So far, I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. If you bring me some electric cable, I could make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right materials around here. Hell, yeah, I'm going to find you a poncho. Let me just, uh... Oh no, I'm turning into a crazy cat lady. Okay, Grandma, I'm going to get you that electric cable if it's the last thing I do. 
At least I will look good dead in my poncho. I'm looking for a programmer. And or more energy drinks. Huh. It actually... It's okay, you can leave. The Guardian said it was not Zex. Hello? Oh, well, they're not letting me in. Music in this game is something else. It goes from very pretty to whatever the hell this is. Not saying it's not pretty, I'm just saying. It's very, uh. avant garde. Ooh. I can't remember how many energy drinks the electric cable was. But I've only got one now because I traded that first one for some cable. Or a uh, sheet music. It's the cable I want. R.I.P. humans. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like, for I am an AI. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. Where the hell did you come from? <laughs> You can teleport, but can you read binary code? I think I'm supposed to be following them. Weird that they would teleport out of nowhere, but... This feels like what I'm supposed to be doing. Never mind, he stopped. Won't let me talk to him either. I'm going to assume that's just some random dude. You have fun, some random dude. Uh, is that the other way I was just down? Hello? So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday's today, right? Time is weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestors. We are trapped here forever. It's very pretty. It would be so nice if it was real. Are you looking at a screensaver? Kind of depressing, all of it. Looking for someone capable of monitor monitoring the southern entrance to the safe zone. The remuneration, or remu <laughs> remuneration is two pints of sube oil per day. Please contact the Guardian. Wow, this would be so much more fun if I was literate. I'm looking for tech nerds. Well, the arrow just points back in there. Also, there's that guy again. Let me in. Or not. Hello there, person who spawned out of nowhere. I guess he's just walking in a loop. Whoops, I tripped the robot. What's that you got in your hand? Well, tripping him down the stairs hasn't accomplished anything. Let's try tripping him down these stairs. Or not. I'm sorry, buddy. I need to trip you for something. Quickly, take all he's got. Well, he didn't drop his item. I 
I don't think tripping this guy is going to get me anything. Ah, huh, just walked straight through me that time. Elliot programming. Oh, hey, look, it was right here. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. Okay. Wrong button. I'm going to assume that counts as a knock. Whoop, coming in. Oh, well, let me greet this guy. Oi. Open that back up. Stop pushing the wrong button, me. Hmm. Well, let me meet him. Probably shy. All of your stuff would look better on the floor. Hello. Nestor, you're here for Elliot? He's just over there. What do you think of the outside? You want to go outside? Well, good luck. It's not going to happen anytime soon. Well, hopefully it happens in my lifetime. Oh, sheet music. Don't mind if I do. Whoop. It's just a nice bunk bed. Oh, come on, this is a programming den. There's got to be energy drinks somewhere. Not the stereotype. Yes, can I help you? Indeed. Can you read this? You want me to read this binary code? Just a second, I need to calibrate my lenses. Here, it means defer bar, or doofer bar. Strange. Who gives rendezvous via binary code? Well, I was in the bar earlier, I think. That's what I think of your things. Don't mind me. Working on some delicate code here. Well, I can't break Elliot's things. Let's see here, any collectibles? No, I'm going to say there's not a whole lot we can do here. Or I'm just bad at exploring. Bad at exploring. Let me out, buddy. I gotta get to that bar. Thank you. Mm, translate. Super Spirit Laundry. Well, I found the bar before. We can find it again. Look at that defer bar, or doofer bar. Come on, let me into the fridge. Or not. Hello there, Billy. Not going to respond to the binary code. No, zero, zero, 00104. 904. There's numbers everywhere. Hello, Carl. Okay, just gonna look for numbers here. Fascinating. Allow me to continue knocking your shit over though.
That's a lot of numbers. Here we go. Oh, that's either a 7 or a 1. I have no short-term memory, though, so let me go ahead and take a picture of that real quick. I believe it to be a 1. Let's go. And good luck with your leak problem. Oh, that's just the employee of the month. Nobody read it. Well, bye kids. I'm gonna go open up a safe I found over here. Running around at the speed of sound. And we're in. It was sheet music. What I need are more energy drinks. How you doing, buddy? Thank you for that sheet music. I will practice. Do you think you can find more? <laughs> oh, buddy, you are in luck. Here's eight of eight. Unreadable sheet music. Hmm, not very readable, but I can still try. Well, with a name like unreadable sheet music. What do you expect? Very cute. Unfortunately, we don't have time to sit here and listen to the rest of them. Tomorrow's. Sounds cool. Here, watch that. Why are there cat spikes everywhere? <laughs> Remarkable! Companions have evolved, as, uh, evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. Uh, more cat spikes. Oh, well, I can get up here. Well, this certainly looks like progress, but I'm just exploring like a dork. Hello? Please do not bother Vapora. He's so, or she's so clumsy. Robots have pronouns. Hello, I'm not supposed to bother you? How do I get over there? Uh oh No, I want up. A... Cool. I can go the other way. Mm, careful. I need to focus. I don't want to drop any buckets. Okay, but what did that accomplish? When life opens a door. Oops. 
Ah, that wasn't your fault. How do I get down? Whoop. Hello there. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. Oh good, I do leave paw prints everywhere. I was worried when I walked through the paint that I wouldn't. Ooh. Why do I need detergent? Well, it's mine, I guess. Okay, don't climb in the dryer. I suppose that's a bad idea. Probably a washer anyway. Really, all of that was for detergent, but I don't even know why I need that yet. Anyway, I suppose I should keep looking around. I've got to find me more sheet music. And stiff. Announcement. I'm looking for any sheet music to play the guitar to add some ambiance. If you find any, bring it back to me. I live near the elevator. Well, I have been bringing you sheet music. I see something. Just looks like a shoe, probably. A slipper. Oh, why'd I stop? Curious. What's in there, buddy? Now he's holding nothing. Well, don't mind if I look around. I can't look around. I'm definitely supposed to be doing something with that guy. But I don't know what it is. Why would I be able to trip him? And why does he patrol if there's no point to it? No, oh, what's this? I'm stuck. And now I'm no longer stuck. Oh, hello again, Rosie. I don't suppose you've seen any energy drinks. I need two more. Well, it's the people throwing paint again. I just got to them from a different angle. I suppose I didn't ride this. Unless this is the same one I rode on earlier. Doesn't look like it, and this doesn't look too familiar. Whoop. Let me in. I'm just a little creature. Remember. Yes, remember the fallen. It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there. Away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behavior. Robots, that's not a good behavior to pick up from humans. Robots are just sitting here, it's like, you know what we need? Classism. Whoop. Let us see. I'm certainly getting around a lot, but I feel like I'm not actually exploring. Hmm. Yeah, I can probably get higher. I see an open window! That's basically an invitation. I'm coming in. It's neat that the robots take all these pictures. What am I doing in here? Hello? 
Uh, take Clementine's Notebook 404. It's a strange notebook with a symbol on it. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everyone is... Er, everything is going accordingly to... I can't read that fast. Everything is going according to plan. We've managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes... I know this look. He will not come with us. I don't know what this means, but I'll probably be useful later. Uh, I don't know what this means, but I'll probably be useful later. We should go see that Momo person who Guardian told us about. We should. Except I'm kind of lost. 33 minutes in and I've not done anything yet. Ooh, more sheet music. I'm sure Momo will have us collect these notebooks. So it's not like I'm wasting time. Hello? Is this more sheet music? It totally is. Can I come in? What was that sound at the door? It's probably nothing. Cruel game, not letting me in there. Can I jump up on there? No, probably not. Huh. Well, maybe that thing I thought was a slipper earlier is actually a can. I don't mind if I do. Hello? These circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. I've got this, the outside. Momo told me how to get, er, told me he'd get me there one day. Well, I'm working on finding this Momo character. It's adorable that you can just kind of curl up and purr. And there's somebody we haven't talked to yet. Let's go speak to them in the name of progress. Watch this episode be an hour long and nothing gets done. I didn't do that. That one was me, though. Come on. Let's go say hi. Oh, it's just those paint throwers again. I've made a big loop. I've found no more energy cans. Whoop. I do like the ability to just knock shit over. Hmm. Well, I've already been in there. I've been up there, I've been over there. I need to get up there, so I should probably be looking for a path. Just gotta climb on those. Easy peasy. Come on. Oh, not gonna open the door. I'll just climb through the window. What is that, a Hawaiian frock coat? Oh no, Momo's transceiver is broken. What is this? Translate. Outsiders. Ah, so they're like a club. Yeah, no, no, I'm trying to pick this up. Momo, I got it stuck in a corner. You're going to have to help me. Just gonna look around. Made in France. You gross, France exists in this world. <gasps> Sheet music! Two, 
two, three, four. I've got four on me, and I've already given him three, I think. So that means there's just one more somewhere. Oh, what's this? Nothing, I'm just scratching up the paint. This is what I think of your drywall. It's probably wallpaper now that I look at it. Okay, let us stop wasting time. Oh, hell yeah. Bag number two, electric boogaloo. Momo, never mind, I got it, buddy. <gasps> Remember. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientists and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? Well, that's a lot of memories, so I'm sure you'll remember it eventually, buddy. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you, what do you want? This research, er, the research books from my friends. Useless now. Nobody wants to go outside anymore. What can I do for you? Well, I would like to go outside. This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go there. New item, one of four. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notes he gave us. The outsider's manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It is signed Clementine uh, Balthazar. That's probably how that's pronounced. Doc and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Well, I've already got one of them. I'm leaving. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. That's actually the one I've already picked up. We already visited this place, but we should check if there are other signs like that. Oh, cool. So there is dialogue if I've already explored it. Come on, why can't I go up on that roof? There are no cat spikes. Whoops. There's another one. I've also got to keep my eyes open for energy drinks. Because I want that poncho. I can't even remember the other item for sale. It's not as important. Let me just... Huh, they've got news up here. A lot of lucky cats. Can I? Thank you. What is this? Presumably nothing. Whoops. No, I want to be up there. Hello? Energy drinks, sheet music, anything of that sort in here? Wait, can I scratch up the couch? I wanted to do this earlier and it wouldn't let me. Finally! Okay, let's see. Translate. Hey Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Just the librarian. Well, looks like the keys were hidden behind a bunch of books, so I don't think that Doc learns. So if I was a safe, and we know it's behind a bunch of books, it's probably in this little alcove. Aha! 
Select an item, keys. Thank you. Got Doc's notebook. Nice work. Another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a beautiful, powerful UV lamp. I wish I could read. With this, we should be able to, uh, capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Let's find the other notebooks. Oh, only one more. Also, that looks an awful lot like a drink I could pick up. Before I leave, there's got to be a collectible in here, right? Other than the notebook. It's a library. They've got sheet music at libraries. Let's see. Not seeing anything. Got a robot thinker. <gasps> Spiderweb. No spider, though. You call me crazy, but I like spiders. Hmm. Besides whatever that clearly is, I can't get to it. There's got to be a way into there. But how? Aha, uh -huh, just walking around. That would do it. Translate. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. Well, y'all got there in the end. Also, sheet music. I think that's a late. Why? Oh, it's just a little nap alcove. Going to let it zoom all the way out. Probably won't use this as a thumbnail, but it's a cute thumbnail. Zooming out way too far to use it as a thumbnail, never mind. But something is happening, so I regret nothing. I've got a handful of regrets, that's not important. Why is there wine all the way up here? Very cute. I'm not entirely sure what the goal of that was. That is a tall pile of books. Whoops. Okay, let's see if I can't jump up there. No, can't seem to. Knocking that thing down would be satisfying, though. Well, hello, you're not somebody I've talked to. Hepter. Oh, hey, it's you. You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't, because I don't understand why. Wow. Rude. What if I just kind of stood here and meowed? No, oh, he's immune to the charm. Get out. Evacuate where you still can. So pretty clearly, there's the other symbol. How do I get over there? And where are these energy drinks I'm looking for? Achievement unlocked and catapult. Whoop. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Excuse me. Can't knock down the majority of this paint. Which is fine, that would make a pretty big mess. Well, getting up here was straightforward, but how do I get in? <laughs> oh, that's too far down to hear the... There we go. Whoop. Oh, yeah. 
Anyway. Oh, I need to drop something in there. We've seen this puzzle before. Or I just pulled the battery. Ventilation power supply. I'm sure it doesn't need this. Ooh. How do I lose the battery every time? Never mind, there it is on the bed. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Thirsty. I need more energy drinks. Why are all of these cans empty? What need do these robots have? Oh, I see something. In Balthazar's notebook. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to somebody named Balthazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to all eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate. As if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Oh! There's also a note in this book. It says, I've found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Let's... What's this? Oh, just something else I can scratch. But this one's got movement. We're out. Oh, not a whole lot down here except the memory I've already picked up. Yeah, I recognize this place now. Gotta jump through the window. Ooh, translate. Almost missed this. Earth. Earth is the third from uh, third planet from the sun, and the fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. To date, it is the only celestial object known to foster life. According to radiometric dating, the Earth is 4.54 billion years old. It has a single neutral satellite, or er, a single natural satellite. I can read the moon which is formed soon after. The gravita gravitational interaction with the moon creates the tides, stabilizes the Earth axis in its ro uh, rotation, and gradually reduces its rotation speed. Yes. Hi there, Momo. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Useless? Check this one out. That's Balthazar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. I guess I gotta show him the other one as well. Yep, here is Doc's. Oh, it belonged to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He always was on the verge of great discovery. Well, I've shown him all of them. I gotta show him Clementine's again. Oh, he found Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know. The most fearless person I've ever met. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that? Note, the transceiver can be repaired. This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine, Balthazar, Zark, or is it Doc? I'm sorry, I doubted your, er, uh, I doubted our cause. I'll promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find a way up. Now, let me fix this piece of junk transceiver. Mmm, oh. et voila. It works! And come with me. Hopefully this just doesn't automatically change the chapter because I've still got collectibles to find. 
Oh, sorry buddy, I'm uh, busy. Up here, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, a little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Well, since nobody thought of a name for our little buddy here, let's just go with Outsider. Great, I was locked out. I'll have to hand in all that sheet music on my own time. It would have been cool to have a little poncho for this Let's Play. I hear noises, no doubt the Zerk. New chapter, Rooftops. Yeah, I'm locked out of some cool collectibles. Mm, don't like the look of this place one bit. Why do I want to attract the Zark? Is there some benefit to having them follow me that I'm just not aware of? They'll never take me alive. Not that I plan to. They seem like very eat first, ask questions later sort of group. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, somebody lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way of people to see color again, like on the outside. I think it helped. I'm missing a couple of memories. I'll have to collect those as well. Where am I going? Mm, can't jump that high. Surely I could make it to that, though. Got it. I just needed momentum. Come on, get out of the bar uh, barrel. What if I could jump up there if I moved the barrel? Probably not worth it. If you're curious about this game's many collectibles, and there seem to be a lot, just, you know, get it yourself. It's 30 bucks. It's not cheap if you're unemployed, but, you know. Everybody I know playing this game absolutely loves it, and I'm having fun. Ooh, what is this? Hack door! I'm something of an expert hacker. Do I, why do I do? Jump, jump! The Zerk seem perfectly capable of jumping though, so I don't know why that would deter them. Gives them the time, or gives me the time I need to push this over. I'm in a whole new chapter, so I should probably stop recording soon, but I would have to find a good spot for that. Mm, somewhere cute. Well, this place looks cozy. Got more of these weird Zerk egg pods. And cozy. Whoop. Mmm. Well, this is the opposite of a pleasant environment.
You know what, this looks like a good place to end the episode. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. I will be finishing this game. I've been told it's pretty short. On that note, I need to go do things in the previous chapter, so fizzity farewell.